What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Tootsie's Backyard Builds. So today, I'm gonna give y'all an update on my 1986 Pontiac Grand Prix 2 Plus 2 LS Twin Turbo. I believe the last time I gave y'all an update was when I was getting it wet, sand, and buff. Well, I put that whole car back together, man, and we got it up in the road. So um, I'm gonna give you a whole update on that car, man. So um, yep, let's get to it. All right, YouTube, before we go into any info of this car, let's get this car cranked up and let you guys hear my baby, man. YouTube. I believe the last time I gave you guys any update with my 1986 Pontiac Grand Prix 2 plus 2 was when I was getting it wet, sand, and buff. Well, as you see, she's all put together, man. So I got a couple of updates to give y'all today. But first off, for those that are new, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Um, just a quick info on this car. This is my 1986 Pontiac Grand Prix 2 plus 2. I believe there was only 1,225 of these made and they were only produced in one year in 1986. So uh, LS swapped it, obviously twin turbo. Um, nice stage two turbo cam from Texas Speed and Performance. I fully built the heads, mainly high volume oil pump, LS9 head gasket, ARP bolts and studs all around. So she is nicely built for the turbos. As for the fuel system, I got a Magna Fuel external 750 pump with a pre and post filter. I'll be showing you guys in a little bit in the back. Um, as for the injectors, I got a 1200 cc's FIC injectors. Um, so um, fuel system, she's on point. Um, like I said, the car runs amazing. Um, the only thing, one of the things I am missing on the car, as you see, I need to install the AC lines. <laughs> guys know man this is miami man it's too hot out here man we gotta have ac man so um, i gotta install the ac lines that way i could get the ac piping cold man but yeah other than that man she's completed man she is complete i'm gonna give you guys a nice little walkthrough and as i'm giving y'all a walkthrough i'll be explaining everything the car has but um yeah let's get to it all right you two i'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough and explain the whole car she's under the shade right now under the tree so you can't really see the sh paint shining too well i'm gonna then put it up in the sun and let you guys see the you know how the paint came out this is a mercedes brilliant silver by the way i, I love the way it came out it looks super nice wait until you guys see it under the sun but um let me explain the car real quick so um these are 22 inch bond speed billet wheels fully billet 22s by nines in the front and 22 by 10s on the rear you guys know the reason why i end up going with billet wheels <laughs> I made a video a while back. Um, I actually had my chrome chipping on my old wheels because my dog kept pissing on them. <laughs> so he kept pissing on them, man, and I kept cleaning the wheels, man. But over time, the, just the chrome started lifting up on me and those were expensive wheels, man. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to deal with that no more. I'm just going to go with billet. That'll never rust out on you. So I end up going with all billets, man. The only thing I got to worry about them is once they get dirty, just polish them up. But that ain't a big deal. Right now, they're actually dirty. I got to get them polished, matter of fact. But um, but yeah, man, I don't got to worry about them chrome chipping on me or nothing like that. But um, as for the brake setup, you guys know I went with bare brakes, six pistons in the front with a 14-inch size rotor. 
same thing in the back 14 inch size rotor six piston um front suspension um qa1 upper and lower control arms qa1 coil overs all around pro forge front steering kit every sway bar extra support you could add to a g body it's on this car man um i'm gonna get down the car now and show you guys real quick of everything it got as far as suspension So as for the rear, I removed the original 7.5 rear end. I installed a fully built 4.9 inch from Quick Performance, two track positive unit, 35 spline axles, 370 gear ratio. And as I mentioned, 14 inch size rotors, six piston bare brakes. I also have um, QA1 upper and lower control arms in the rear, UMI shock tower brace, sway bar for extra support. So she's all done up in the rear, man. Got the two nitrous bottles. Just gotta run the lines to the front. Got the two nitrous bottles there. Let me show you guys the fuel system. This is a MagnaFuel 750 external pump with a pre and post filter. Has the new sump aluminum gas tank. So fuel system is on point, guys. So yeah, guys, I mostly covered everything on the outside. I don't know if I'm missing anything. I, well, as I told you guys, the car has been recently painted. You guys seen I had the car wet sand and buff the last time I gave you guys an update on it. But um, all the trims, the moldings, weather stripping, everything has been put new on this car. All the striping, everything. I'm gonna show you guys now a nice little walkthrough with the sun hitting it. Right now, you can't really see the shine too well. It's under the shade. But um, let me show you guys real quick on the inside, see what we got going on on the inside. All right, YouTube. So as you see, the interior is all original with the exception of an aftermarket steering wheel, single din Pioneer radio. Got my dual pillar gauge here with my air fuel ratio and my boost gauge. I got all the factory gauges on the inside working with my LS swap. As you see my dash, no cracks guys you know i'm very very picky when i'm looking for a g body they have to be garage kept rust free and the reason why is when i'm building these cars i'm more of a performance and suspension guy so i like to keep my interior original and that's the reason why i like them garage kept because i don't like to have no tears no rips no cracks on the dash i like to keep the interior original with a little bit of twist to it you know aftermarket steering wheel i might add some kick panels in fact um i did my rear deck already so i like doing little things here and there on the interior but overall i like to keep the interior original you know look at the door panels all original no fade no tears no rips nowhere so um as for the carpet i removed the original carpet i insulated the whole floor and put a brand new carpet in there So, uh, yep, that's the way I like to build my cars, man. As for the outside as well, same thing. You know, I went back with a similar to the original color, um, but I went with a nicer silver. This is a Mercedes Brilliant Silver. I'm gonna give you guys a nice little walkthrough under the sun. That way you guys see how that silver is hitting, man. It's the same color I went with my twin turbo SS, man. Super, super nice, man. I'm really feeling it. But yeah, YouTube, I just wanted to give y'all a quick update on my 1986 Pontiac Grand Prix 2 Plus 2. Let you guys know everything I had going on with the car, man. So um, hopefully you guys like it, man. Please make sure you comment. Let me know what you guys think of the car. 
if you're new to my channel please make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate all the love and support man and um like i told you guys the only thing i'm missing on this car is to run the ac lines oh and also i want to do a nice little trunk setup put a nice subwoofer setup on the trunk and a nice little display man you guys know i like to attend car shows i believe the lowrider car show is coming up sometime next year the beginning of next year so i want to get the car ready for that so um yeah something to look forward to is on my trunk display man but other than that the car is done man let me know what you guys think please comment below let me know what you guys think and please make sure to stay and watch the full video i'm gonna give you guys a nice walkthrough of the car again under the sun man peace